even after admitting that the IDF is behind the attacks on the aid workers, the only thing that happens is they dismiss two senior officers and reprimand three others, five in total. Uh, these people should be in prison for war crimes. Tonight, the U.S. is cautiously welcoming Israel's commitment to open more aid routes into Gaza after a tense phone call between President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The president declining today to answer whether he'd threaten Netanyahu with stopping military aid. I asked him to do what they're doing. What Israel is doing is opening a crossing to allow aid into northern Gaza, using a port in southern Israel as a supply hub, and allowing trucks from nearby Jordan to bring aid through Israel into Gaza. Today, the president... Well, uh, after killing seven aid workers, they finally decide to allow, uh, well, to stop disallowing aid or preventing aid from coming in to Gaza. Well, they need a big old pat on their back. And it was also asked if... It his tougher tone with Netanyahu meant he was abandoning Israel. The Israeli military... Because Biden will, will never stop supporting Israel no matter what they do. He's a Zionist and all our Zionist presidents will continue to support the Israeli government. Terry has removed two officers from their posts and reprimanded three others after this week's deadly strike that killed seven aid workers from Chef Jose Andres' World Central Kitchen. So, no prison time, no going in front of the military court or anything like that. Just reprimand uh, two officers and two from their positions for the murder of aid workers. It's very important that Israel is taking full responsibility for this incident. According to Israel's newly released report, its forces wrongly identified what they thought was a gunman on one of the aid trucks and mistakenly assumed there were Hamas terrorists inside. The forces did... So are they saying that uh, aid workers aren't allowed to arm themselves just in case they may get attacked by Hamas or something? That's a uh, pretty stupid to try to claim uh, and mistakenly killed them. Uh, the IDF knew the location of the convoy and the symbols on their vehicles. So were they saying they were indiscriminately killing people or did they target these people? Because either one is still a war crime. Did not identify the vehicles in question as being associated with World Central Kitchen, calling it a serious failure. No, they knew. They just wanted to kill the aid workers. It was a terrible chain of errors, and it should never have happened. World Central Kitchen says the admissions are important steps forward, but the charity is calling for an independent investigation because it says Israel's military cannot credibly investigate its own failure in Gaza. How no, that's like having the police investigate themselves. They're always going to say that they did nothing wrong, and it, even if they do admit something wrong, they're not going to punish themselves for doing something wrong. Hostage talks are set for this weekend. A senior administration official says the president...